Welcome back candidates to another OCS prep video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Fireteam Skirmishers. We're going to go through the layout of the Skirmisher, when we use it, and the advantages and disadvantages of using it. So let's get started. Shut up, Frank! Hey, look at me! Alright, you should see the layout for the Skirmishers on the screen there. Now, there are two different kinds of Skirmishers. There's Skirmishers right and Skirmishers left. But, the real difference between the two is just the placement of the rifleman in the skirmishers. Whether the rifleman is on the left or on the right is the only difference. So, um, as you'll see on the screen there, there'll be the layout. And it is, um, for a skirmisher's left, for example, it is the rifleman, the team leader, the fire, and the assist. With the rifleman and the fire up front, and the team leader and the assist in the back. Now this is important for something that we'll talk about in a later episode, um, which is bounding. And the reason that it's laid out the way it is is uh, so that you can bound. But you'll see everybody staggered just like a column. It's basically a column going sideways. Um, and that's a good way to think about it. So when do we use the fire team skirmishers? Uh, fire team skirmishers is used when we know the enemy's strength um, or location, um, when we are assaulting the enemy, and if we're crossing short, open terrain uh, where we need to be prepared for an attack. So those are the three kind of situations that you'll use the fire team skirmishers in. Again, that's when we know the enemy's strength and location, during the assault, and when crossing open terrain, short, open terrain. Now, what are some of the advantages? Well, the real advantage in skirmishers, the only major advantage, is that all your firepower is front. As you guys will see on the screen there, all the firepower is easily pointed in the direction of the enemy. We don't have anybody overlapping in front of each other or anything like that. Everybody's shooting in the direction of the enemy. That's why we only use this when we know the enemy's uh, direct location and strength um, because we don't want to be in this kind of a position, um, we'd, we'd prefer to be in a wedge, right, if we don't know where the enemy's at. But if we know where they're at, this is a good formation, and we, it's because of all the firepower to the front. Now, the disadvantage to this formation is that it is difficult to control. Um, and as a fire team leader, I think there's a couple reasons why it's more difficult to control than other formations. And part of that is because as a fire team leader, and I found this uh, true in Suli 1, and I'll talk about this in another video as well, but... I found this, um, you get real easy tunnel vision, right? You just get focused in on the enemy. Like, you're, you're in the attack. You're shooting. You've got you to gotta get these guys. Um, and, and it really makes it difficult for you to be the team leader at the same time as you're attacking. It's, it, it is a very difficult task. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is a very difficult formation to control. It's also because when you're bounding, uh, we'll kind of talk about this in a later episode too, is... Uh, you're bounding with your partner. And you're paying a lot of attention to them. So again, that tunnel vision, but not just towards your objective and your enemy, you're also getting tunnel vision to the fact that you only have one person that you're directly worried about, or you, sh you know, you obviously should be, like whoever you're bounding with should be covering you, um, and you need to know what's going on with them, so you're kind of paying attention to them. And you might forget about the other two people. And that would is a big um, problem because you can't leave them behind or let them get too far ahead uh, and you have to control that as a fire team leader. So that's, I think, one of the reasons why it's super hard to control. You're just tunnel visioned. You're focused on uh, fighting, and you're focused on um, your teammate, and you're forgetting that you're in control. And that's an easy one to do. So don't let that happen at OCS. That make that a priority when you practice with your, hopefully, with your fellow candidates, to basically focus in and hone in on those skills of not getting tunnel vision. That's something you've got to focus on in this specific formation. Is tunnel vision. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Um, that way you don't miss out on future content and other people get the chance to see it whenever you like it and subscribe to my channel. Um, as well as uh, leave any comments or any questions you have about this formation down below. Thanks for watching.